is a vortex right there. Oof. But I will, I be daggone if you're not, if I'm not going to make a public a video about it. So yes, there will be a YouTube video about it, but my mom has heart surgery on Monday. So, and she went into AFib tonight. So there's just like, I know Gabby doesn't know this stuff's going on in my life, but like, I have stuff I'm dealing with too. And then you want to throw this bomb and twist it? ridiculous i mean it is just and then the stuff about jesse which is the whole reason why this started because you want to say you didn't publicly um support jesse or curtis we have the screenshots gabby we have the screenshots okay and now this is not my whole story to tell so i'm not going to get into it that's jesse's so hmm I'm gonna let that be what it is. We're just gonna get back into me. Video saying that a few years back, I did a prank call video right. with Zane that I never posted because Zane and I did a vlog saying we took it too far, we're not gonna post this, and I never uploaded the video. Alex was laughing his ass off. He actually got mad at me for not- Laughing my butt off. Now, I wish I had my other, wish I had, where? I wish I could freaking call. You know what? I think I can FaceTime from my computer. Um, I told y'all my ex-boyfriend was there and J my best friend Jeremy Scott was there. When I tell you I was in pure tears and when she called me back to say, oh my God, Alex, like I was kidding. I told her, Gabby, that is not okay to do. Like, she was like, no, don't worry. Like, I'm not going to post it. And I'm thinking... If you dare would to put, why would I want you posting something where I straight up look like a pussycat? Like, I was shook. And she kept that conversation going for minutes. Had me literally admit, she told me to admit stuff about myself. And if I did not admit it to her, she was going to share it out to the world because this is my hacker. She has all my information. How dark. And now you're trying to turn this little kidding around video of a story time ghost to something very tangible and real. And how people are believing this is just disgusting. I mean, okay. Posting the video on a separate and completely unrelated incident, Alex James got hacked and I pulled every single one of her every, resources. Every single one of her resources, your phone number. Does is, does she have a S CSI kit? Is she going like what? You are so dramatic, which is why I say in my text, you're so being so dramatic. It's not like I'm taking an experience. But then again, this is why I also sit back and I say fear is irrational. I now realize that back then I had no idea. Like I'm not scared of no goat, like a conditioner bottle hanging on that. Really? You know what we were doing. Okay, <clears throat> now that I have found Jesus, hello, God, I know that spirits are real. And I know that there's angels, hello, you better believe, best believe there's demons. So now I would never play that type of prank on somebody. Because I realize now fear is irrational. You know, you can't tell somebody, well... I'm not afraid of spiders, so they're not scary. That's not how I'm trying to be. But don't make this what it's not to try to bring the remorse back. Uh-uh. Alex was laughing his ass off. He actually got mad at me for not posting the video. Got mad at me for not posting the video. God. And I just feel like if I talk like this, you know, very calm and collective, like people will just realize I'm telling the truth, you know? A separate and completely unrelated incident, Alex James got hacked and I pulled every single one of my Everyone. resources, all of my contacts to try to help him get access to his accounts, even offering my personal phone number. To that was it. As his right, two-step right. verification to try to secure his account. Thank for those you. Of you who have been and thank you. And I thanked you for that. Thank you, which you never thanked me for 
letting you stay in my house rent free, my apartment, and you did nothing but B-I-T-C-H about every other Viner, Lele Pons, Alley Cat, you, all your friends, you do nothing but B-I-T-C-H about them. And don't even get me started to what you did to Alley Cat. Because, mm, what you did to Alley Cat is literally beyond, like you have no self moral. You don't, and what you did to Jesse, like, and you dare call her a slut? You dare call Jesse a slut? When I tell you, I around for a while, you might remember that I did a video with Alex. She didn't say this publicly. Sorry, she said this through screenshot text messages, which we have about a haunted hotel in Miami. The whole trip, I was having really severe anxiety. I had convinced myself- We were having so much fun on this trip. We were literally bummed out the, at the fact that, okay, so we go on this trip and we find out that she has nothing compatible with any of the other influencers. I met some really fun people there that I still follow to this day. She connected with nobody. That is where she's getting this little mess from. That's why I didn't feel comfortable because nobody really, you won't vibe in with nobody like I was. So there was the time where on my Snapchat, we were going laser tagging. Oh, she was living it up, living it up in laser tag. Okay, so we were supposed to go, um water thing you know like sky like you went to sky and you above the water we were so excited about doing that and then it rained and we we're like well what were you gonna do and then we went and played laser tag but she was just having so anxiety ridden Self that i was haunted which is obviously really and this is not me making fun of anxiety y'all y'all know i i take medication for anxiety well it's technically not anxiety it's for my serotonin and the dopamine but that's not what I'm doing. What I'm saying is you can never, you, you're literally using a mental health as an excuse to make me look like a bad person. Yes, you have mental problems. You do. We all do. Um, but this is not what was happening. Embarrassing to say, but things kept happening that were really scaring me. Like I was waking up in the middle of the night and my bathtub was full to the top with the jets on. I literally could not sleep at night because I was so scared. One night while we were there, Alex woke up to a ton of texts and missed calls from me. And when I saw him at breakfast, he was like, why did you call me a billion times last night? And I told him, I, will I can't contest to this. I genuinely do not. I feel like maybe this is actually accurate about the phone calls and texts because that was when she showed me the Snapchat story about the um, the uh, the jets and the tub and stuff. And that's uh, literally in my head where I'm just like, this girl. Woke up to my tub, like, the jacuzzi was on. She I trying to make a video. My room. I'm scared, I couldn't sleep. And I was legitimately terrified. I was exhausted. And for the rest of the trip, crazy stuff kept happening. There was banging on my doors and then nobody would be out. I can't contest to that. I don't know. Like, I'm assuming she's insinuating that I'm the one banging on her door. I really hope that's not what she's insinuating. I'm not going to say that somebody did not bang on her door because I, I'm not there. We were in two separate rooms. So I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to sit back and say this was not her experience. If this is what she experienced, that is what she experienced. Boom. Okay. And again, you can, I've learned now, you can never go off of I know Carly, te Carly's texting me and she's like, you got to calm down. I agree. It's just like, this is so heated. Like that's again, like I don't mean to go off on fans that tweet me and stuff because this is a dog fight. And again, I said it's before, don't stick your hand in a dog fight and not expect to get bit. It's not personal, but you don't notice. Okay. All you know is this girl on the internet that she puts up there and edits. You see her highlight reel and maybe see some of the low, but she don't show you the low, honey. She don't show you the low. And I have been nothing but transparent. How many daggone times have you, the videos have you seen on my channel where I'm like, I literally was about to kill myself. And I saw on my phone, it was 555. And I knew the Lord was speaking to me. And I knew he told me, boy, you got to chill. That's all on my channel. I am one of the most, and for her to try to make me unauthentic, I never, I, even though I know this girl was unauthentic, I never said that in my video. 
Did I not tell you in both the videos that I made, my people best not go ever, ever best not go to her post and be like, you're trash, you're this, you're disgusting. That is stupid. That is childish, period. She does not do that because clearly she's a child. This is not a woman. This is not a girl. This is a child. There And then we went to his room and he starts screaming and his stuff is broken and there's stuff hanging from the... There's nothing broken. That's dramatized. I did go into my room because we were in... That was what I was saying earlier. We were in my room. I was on the balcony. The wind blew and she... It was like blew a door or something and the door shut and she was like, <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> Not like a... <gasps> <gasps> there's there's something like come on she's like <sighs> Alex I swear there is something haunted in here I'm telling you that's when she gets her phone out and that's when you see the snapchats of the conditioner bottle on the light okay ceiling lights and he's pretending to have a panic attack saying he's super scared and I'm pretending to have a panic attack I had a full-blown meltdown at this point i was sobbing i was crying the snapchats Never. are still on youtube i was so Wait. scared we moved our hotel. oh oh yes yes the snapchats where she's like <laughs> and when she's posting these videos it's literally this and i'm like again in my head this girl knows what she's doing and this is the video this is a good story time like and again yo this is five six years ago when i'm just making content to enjoy this was never meant to be something that she's claiming to have t stuck with her for years and i intentionally dramatized uh traumatized her but again what i have learned in as 28 years old is that you can never go off of intention you have to go off of how it was perceived and if she perceived that i did these things i am sorry because I didn't, I would never intend some, me to traumatize you to the point where you're saying you're having therapy because of me and had called a priest. What? And you're claiming I knew this? You, I would laugh at this time if you told me you called a priest. I didn't believe in that stuff. I don't, I didn't even really believe in God until I found Jesus like three years ago. Like, I would have laughed in your face if you told me you called a priest. Like, this is ridiculous hotel rooms from this beachfront beautiful suite to these other hotel rooms okay <laughs> so she's claiming that we had to give up these hotel rooms first of all this is a five star hotel. actually probably like a freaking eight it was the versace where versace got like murdered or whatever like every room in this hotel is unrealistically glamorous right so of course in my head and i know in her head if we change rooms this will make this story even more juicy she knows what she was doing <laughs> and then the clip that has been used against me in the video where she's like and you're telling in the very beginning or whatever she's like and you're telling me you're not lying right and i'm like gabby you have asked me this so many times like Shut this happened like this again is supposed to be content for you guys like this wasn't a real detrimental like it's so unreal to me how this is how she is trying to describe this but again she's trying to make it comparable to the whole hacker situation him all night asking him to please stay awake because i was so scared and i literally didn't sleep for days straight because i was so scared i was on the phone with a priest i was on the phone with my dad the, i was on wearing the phone with the priest on the phone with the priest on the phone with the priest and you know what i'm not gonna say you weren't gabby i'm not because i don't know i don't know but if so like wow wow i would have never imagined that would happen sorry medals with saint jude on them i couldn't enjoy the rest of the the trip we had a laser Wait. tag thing ask him to please oh there was a laser tag thing stay awake because i was so scared and i literally didn't sleep for days straight because i was so scared i was on the phone with a priest i was on the phone with my dad i was wearing medals with saint jude on them I okay well baby that's a false god. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Couldn't enjoy the rest I'm of the <laughs> I'm saying like medals and stuff or like an idol, but I'm totally kidding. We had a laser tag thing and I had a panic attack inside of laser no, tag. Geez. I was afraid of being in a dark room and everything. I can
This girl says she had a panic attack in the laser, playing laser tag because she was in a dark room. Like, y'all remember my laser tag? You know what? I might have to. Go it has to still be on my Snapchat in the memories. I have to go back to this time. We are living it up in laser tag, like living it up. And this is the next morning after the uh, conditioner bottle. Half of the time of our lives. It was honestly a really Wait. stressful and difficult trip. The Snapchats are still on YouTube. I was so scared. We moved our hotel rooms from this beachfront oh. beautiful suite to the of being in a dark room. And every time somebody would jump out, I screamed. It was honestly a really- Then why are you in laser tag? Why are you in there? Why did you participate? If you were so sh Like, this is ridiculous. Really stressful and difficult trip and the time afterwards was really scary because I genuinely thought that I was being haunted. This is what this girl's problem is. She wants so bad to be unique and to be different. I'm psychic and things happen to me. You know, ghost stuff happens to me. That's I'm just that weird girl. I'm that weird girl. You know, I'm the one that doesn't. I'm the underdog. There wasn't that her thing on Twitter. Hashtag underdog. That's the. That's what she's wrapped up in, baby. And as I was telling the story, everybody kept asking me, are you sure Alex didn't do this? Alex had to have done this. And I was like, no, he keeps saying to me that he would never do this. I've asked him a billion times. I begged him, if this is you, please just tell me that you did this. And his response never. to me over and over again never. was, I would never take it this far. You're having panic attacks. You're having nightmares. Where did I, I say really this? That I would move my... Did, where, where, did I say this happened over the phone? Did I say that? I'm sure I just, I happen to say that over the phone. It's not in text, so of course you can see it happen over the phone. Beachfront suite to this shitty tower for a joke. He looked me dead in my face and said, Gabby, I would never do that. Then he said, we have to do a story time video. So at that point I said, we can still do the story time video. It's still funny, but please tell me for my sake, is this fake? And he said, no, Gabby, are you kidding? If you ask me one more time, I'm going to kill you. I would never do this. Do you really think that I would do all of this? Break my stuff, throw my stuff around for a story time video. What so stuff did I break? Part, Again, it's like she acts like I had like an expensive of cologne bottle i had like a mirror or something like girl it was a toothbrush and tool you know like the little stuff you get from walgreens like a little uh the listerine little thing like oh whoops i don't know what's happening okay um okay Filming and before I start the camera, after I start the camera, during filming, I keep looking at him and saying, Alex, I'm not going to be upset with you if you tell me now, did you do this for a story time video? I'll still post the video. It'll still be funny. It'll still be fine. But for my mental health and my sanity, please tell me if you faked this. And he said, I can't believe you're still asking me about this as we're sitting here about to film this video. I would never do that. So fast forward a couple years, somebody asked me about the scariest ghost story I ever had. And I started talking about this and I felt the urge to ask one more time. So I texted Alex and this is how that- I love how this one just flows. Like, she knew what she, and this is again why, why you're taking months to reply and months to get your story straight and figure out how can I manipulate this and how can I manipulate it to my benefit? Oh, I'll post an EP, drama, and then a music video. Oh! Conversation went. So in July of 2018, I said I have to, I have to ask you something. This is me. These are my text messages. I, so what I read here, this is me. I have to ask you, this is her. I have to ask you something and you have to be one, one whatever percent honest, okay? Me, okay? Because I was like, oh, girl, T. And she says, Miami, were you effing with me? I said, of course, Gabby. I thought you would kind of put two and two together at the time. But then I'm thinking, homie is really scared let's keep this going ha 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 i'm mad you've still held on to that thought why did something happen okay so for me it's just like baby girl homegirl was really scared won't she like okay she's trying to make a youtube video but again these texts so let's just look at it from how it's perceived like she's reading this and i'm like okay this is back in 2018 okay how many years ago four years ago 
this is a child texting another child, okay, at this time. I'm mad you still head on to that thought because I'm just like, what? Like, did something really happen? Like, what's going on? Wait, for real, I asked you so many times. You said, swear to God for two effing years. Never. And that did not happen. And that's really when I started to be, to be like, honest. And she's being dramatic. He said, okay. I said, Miami, oh, where are you fucking with me? He said, thinking, homie is really scared. Let's keep this going. <laughs> that's completely out of context. Like, it's not, this girl was having a full on panic attack. Let's traumatize her. Like, come on. Still held on to that thought. Why did something happen? I said, wait, for real? I've asked you so many times. You said you swear to God for not. two fucking years, LMA. Gabby. He said, you asked me like twice, and then I crossed my fingers at the hotel. Said, like, okay. joking around, like, in my opinion. And then again, the reason why she's getting these type of texts from me is what Gabby is failing to point out is Gabby didn't talk to me during this time. Okay, because when I reached out to Gabby to talk about, uh, hey, let's do a video of like why I kicked you out of my house, but I'll take the ownership of it. Cause y'all were already asking me like, Hey, why aren't you and Gabby hanging out? Like what's the tea? And I was just like, girl, let's squash it. Like, let's just make a YouTube video together. Talk about like doing a story time together. And then we can just laugh about it and move on. But this is when Gabby's hanging out with Shane Dawson and with Colleen Ballinger. I've already gained subscribers for them. I'm not giving them, I'm not going to collab with somebody like Alex and give them the him. No, that's why you were getting messages like girl, where is this coming from? Like, you don't even talk to me, and then you wait two years later out of the blue and text me, I gotta ask you something. And I'm like, okay, like, girl, you don't speak to me. Like, what's, what's happening? And then you bring up this mess that happened years ago, and I'm like, this is silly to me. Like, what, I hope, I even say this in the messages, like, I hope you're doing well, like, you don't even ask, like, hey, hope you're doing okay. Like, look, I gotta ask you something. Like, that, there's no context to these messages because it looks like I'm, like, crude to it or just kind of like, huh, because you don't even speak to me. I literally begged you to tell me you were fucking with me. I was having panic no, attacks. you did Are not. You for real? I literally called my dad sobbing. You knew damn well I didn't think you were playing. What did I say? Let me get into mine. She says, literally, call my dad sobbing. I can't say she did that because she was never called her dad around me. I'm not going to say she's lying about that. I would highly doubt she was doing that, but whatever. Um, you knew dang well. I didn't think you were playing LMAO. I literally can't believe you. I said, girl, like, how else is a conditioner bottle going to end up on the ceiling? LOL. I figured you were being dramatic for Snapchat. Again, my text back just kind of being like, what's going on with these little text exchange right now? I'm like, are we arguing right now? Like, whoa, what's happening? LMAO, I literally and can't And then believe. she says, because I believe in ghosts and I asked you so many times off camera, we, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the part where she says, because I believe in ghosts, because now I say spirits, like I don't say ghost. <laughs> that word is so childish to me. Um... But, and at this time, I had no concept of afterlife. I've already told y'all that. Like, I'm gay. And my, I grew up where my afterlife was hell. So I have my, I'm on, still on my own spiritual journey. So for me, this conversation was just so out of the blue that I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Like, what is this? He said, girl, like how else is a conditioner bottle gonna end up on the ceiling, LOL. I figured you were being dramatic. It wasn't on the ceiling, it was hanging from a light. <laughs> okay. Snapchat. I said, because I believe in ghosts and I asked you so many times off camera and weeks and months after to tell me Never. if you were fucking with me and you kept saying- Gabby, you were being so dramatic right now and I am busy, but okay, enjoy your day. That's literally like, I'm like, I'm not gonna argue with you. Like I tried to call her cause I don't do the text. Y'all already know, I told y'all, little Gabby goes on Made of Speaking. She sits on her computer and just types, 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 but she don't want to answer the phone. Like call me. Like you said in your video. Well, God on everything, why would I do that? He said, Gabby, no, I didn't. This is so dramatic. Keep swearing to God. Sorry if two years later, you're still hung up on that. But yeah, I was kidding oh, with you. Oh, let me you. get that. Gabby, no, I didn't. This is so dramatic. Right. Keep swearing to God. Right. I was just quoting her like, girl, what are you talking about? Sorry if two years later, you're still hung up on that. But yeah, I was kidding with you. Like, 
Tada freaking die in my head, right? Like, I'm just like, what? Okay. Like, she says, like, we changed rooms. I asked you a million times. Yes, we both did change rooms, and we both knew that that would be good for the story. That would be good for the build-up to the story time on Snapchat. Like, come... And we were in separate rooms again. So, joking, I was afraid. I was literally crying in my Miami. No, you were not. I said, we changed rooms. I asked you a million times to tell me if you were joking because I was afraid to sleep. I was literally yes, crying I made you in swear Miami. To God. And yes, I made you swear to God like a hundred times. He said, Gabby, you're being so dramatic right now and I'm busy, but okay, LOL, enjoy your day. I said, uh, yeah, because you lied to me about something that was scaring the shit out of me. And I've asked you on so many occasions to swear you weren't just lying for content. And you pretended to be having a panic attack with me and said, no, I'd never do that. And had to switch rooms. And you said, do you really think I'd give up our beachfront amazing view suite for this shitty room? That's actually bonkers to me. I've asked you so many times leading up to the video off camera and you swore it was real. He said, Gabby, you're so ridiculous and I've caught you in so many lies that I don't even care to discuss. So many I said, lies. I thought you and I were on the same page with that and you asking me off camera what happened happened one time at your apartment the night we filmed. But again, sorry. So I'm literally stating the reality. Like, girl, I thought we were on the same page. Like, don't act like I'm over here having some panic attack with you. They have no pan I have no panic attack. I was laughing. I, but I thought it was, you know, like, let's make the YouTube story. Like, come on. Like, what is this? Like, but again, I'm not.